welcome back to another Career Sim Challenge. So today we are going to be attempting a very fun challenge that I saw Sid Mac do a while ago. But basically we're going to take a wheel with a load of trendy popular aesthetics right now and we're going to spin it and we're going to make some sibs using those aesthetics because I'm not going to lie, I kind of tend to stick to the same ones. Grunge and that's it really. So I thought this would be fun to do and to try to test my abilities to make sims. This is gonna go really rough. So for the sake of my sanity, I've gone ahead and made it some base sims because if I was to have to make these sims as well as doing this, we would be here for seven years. So I thought instead we would just, you know, have some base sims because that does take me a while. So here are our little sims, our little mannequins, very cute sims. So let's go ahead and spin a wheel. But first, I just want to thank Brick City for sponsoring today's video. Brick City is a brand new sandbox mobile game set in the future where your mission is to build a city that revives the abandoned earth. When creating your city, you could choose from over 7,000 bricks blocks to customize everything to your liking, allowing all of your ideas to become a reality. You can travel to other player cities to find exclusive blueprints and discover new Brick City residents. So if you want to check out Brick City, pre-registration and early access application is now open. You'll get a low of in-game rewards just for pre-registering and early access users even get the chance to win a $1,500 gift card through a build challenge. Sign up and learn more by clicking the link in the description down below or scanning the QR code on the screen now. So as you can see here, my darlings, we have a selection of different aesthetics, some of which I have no idea what they actually mean, but I did go ahead and Google some aesthetics for 2023 and this is apparently the trendiest things. Now, I don't know if I'm just so boring that I have no idea what half of these are or I'm too old. I'm not even 19. Okay, I'm gonna be 19 when this video goes up. Oh my god, that's scary. Anyways, we have these aesthetics. Now, some of which I really want to get. For example, Barbie Core, I so want because of the new movie coming out. And honestly, some of these I do quite a lot, like Y2K and Cottage Core. But there is some that I have no idea about, like Future Core or like Royal Core. No idea. So I'm excited to see what we get. Honestly, if I do them wrong, I'm so sorry, but I'm not good at this. So yeah. Let's go ahead and spin and let's see what our first sim is going to get. Ooh. Okay, so I would say out of this whole list, Royal Court is one of the ones I know the least amount, which is nice. Like, it's nice to not know stuff. I mean, is it really? Who likes not knowing stuff? Not me. Not me. Not Hermione. You. Sorry. Anyways, let's go ahead and have a gander, darling, as to what Royal Court entails. So I'm seeing a lot of white primarily or like beige and colors like that. It's a lot of big gowns, which is something that I very rarely do. It's a lot of like frilly stuff, bows, pearls crowns. I'm excited to give the Simba crown. I have no idea if I actually have stuff that will fit this aesthetic, but I feel like even from the name, it kind of is self-explanatory. So let's go ahead and first of all, give the Sims some skin details. Even though I have made the Sims beforehand, I also still want to give them skin details because I need to give my Sims skin details. So I feel like if we're going for this very like, I don't, wanna, I don't know how to describe it, but it's very just like clean, I would say is the best way of describing it. Very put together and very much not what a lot of the aesthetics I normally do and like give my Sims. So I feel like it's kind of more minimalist in a way but it's also not at the same time it's like it's like minimalist but not which makes no sense because then it's just nothing but like it makes sense to me so like just go with me on that one okay i'm kind of thinking that maybe i won't go for freckles which i hate saying so much but like i don't know if it fits that well so i may just go with a couple of moles instead just a little sprinkling like that as you can see and let's do some of my details that i usually do i'm so boring <laughs> Sorry. I don't feel like much contour works, even though I know logistically, like, this is, like, face contour. Like, how does that make any sense? Like, this is just her natural face contour. But for the sake of this being the other Sims 4, we can just go for whatever we want. So I think I might go for something like that. Just kind of, like, a bit of a up there contour, just to kind of, like, round our face. I don't know what I'm doing, but, like, I'm pretending like I know. Like, this is a lie. This is a complete lie. Like, let's be honest with ourselves right now. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, I think this is the skin details done for this Sim. I'm also gonna go ahead and give her a gap tuff because I give all my Sims gap teeth. I'm not entirely sure what like a royal court eyebrows are like <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know I'm kind of like looking at the internet right now like hmm No one seems to really have like a specific eyebrow shape So I think we'll just kind of like wing it with that, you know But I'm also thinking maybe like some really thin ones just because I don't know I don't do very often and I feel like it kind of makes her look kind of nice. I don't I yeah I don't know what I'm doing. 
dick. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Is that obvious? Is that obvious? I think I might give it some kind of lighter eyes like this. They look really cute. And let's move now on to the makeup. So I kind of have like two thoughts ahead right now because I'm kind of thinking Royal Core, for some reason, my first thought is the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. Does that make sense? No. But it's like, that's my first, that was the first thing I thought of. So I was thinking kind of like big, bold. But then also the pictures that I'm seeing right now are kind of the opposite for like makeup. Maybe if I search up Royal Core makeup, it'll come up. I don't know. Okay, no, these are actually quite bold. So some people are doing very like glittery eyes with like a lot of blush and like pink lips. But there's also some people doing very like subtle, but I feel like definitely a lot of blush seems to be a common occurrence and glittery eyeshadow. So that is interesting. I honestly would have thought that. I think I'm not gonna go for like too big of lashes. I think just like some kind of like in between. Honestly, these are my favorites. So I'm gonna go for these. I say in between as if these aren't like huge lashes. Like, oh my God, let's go in between. No, ma'am. No, no, but still. And I definitely wanna go for a lot of blush. Honestly, something like that. It's very heavy, but like I love heavy blush in the game and in real life. I love it. And then I definitely think some like kind of like pink lips, which is something I so rarely do. If you watch my channel, you know this. I am not big into like paler lips. I tend to go for darker ones, but for the sake of the video, let's go for some lighter ones. Honestly, something like that is really cute. I actually love that. Oh my God, wait, she's so cute. Okay, I love this sim. I think I'm gonna go for like a minimal amount of eyeliner. Maybe with like the little highlight in the corner would look really cute. How many times are we gonna say cute in this video? I don't know, but like, here we go. We started already. We started strong. Maybe even just like the white waterline looks really cute. I actually like that a lot. And then I definitely think some sort of glittery, some sort of, am I posh all of a sudden? Oh, I think I'm going to go for some sort of royal. No, stop it, Lana, stop it. I feel like this is maybe too much. Like, is there a line? Potentially this is the line. I am hitting it right now, so maybe I shall not cross it. Maybe something a little bit more like that. Okay, yeah, maybe that's a little bit more toned down. Okay, that's a little bit more toned down. That is like really stunning. Oh my God, okay. I did not think I'd like this that much. I was like, how is this gonna turn out right now? I don't know, but this is actually really cute. So I'm definitely thinking that for hair, we should go for some longer hair. I feel like it's just, I don't know why, royal long hair. It just, it just, it just like goes hat in hat, do you know what I mean? But I'm also kind of thinking like maybe like a half up, half down moment because like slay, you know what I mean? I think stuff like plaits and stuff would work pretty well. So maybe we'll go for an updo, but I also want it to be down. So it's not really an updo. And I'm also thinking about going for like blonde or like a light brown, just because again, I feel like the whole aesthetic is very like light and beiges and blondes and white. This is not at all what I was going for, but like, I mean, it, oh, wait, it kind of is. Oh my God, wait, it kind of is. Okay, I kind of do want to go for brown now that I'm looking at her, but yeah, this is kind of perfect. It's by Sims Trouble and it's got the plait, which is what I was saying, or a braid if you're American. I don't know. Do they say braid? Do they say plait? I don't know. I just call it a plait again. Just let me be. But it's also like a frame in her face really well. Okay, I nailed it. Are we shocked? Yes. Outfits, I'm kind of torn. So on the one hand, I feel like I want to go for like a big white dress, but on the other hand, I've seen a lot of like long skirt moments, but then is that going to be cottage court? And then if we get cottage we're gonna have an issue. So I feel like maybe I am best just going for like a really long dress. Like a really like flouncy one. Do I own any flouncy dresses? I don't think I do. Like that's not flouncy enough. Do you know what I mean? Like that's just not, it's just not, it's just not it. I mean, this is gorgeous. Like she's stunning, but not the vibe. What if we just go full Disney princess? Like why do I own these? I don't know why I downloaded these. Like there was definitely one point in my life where I was like, mm. Yes, let me download that. But I don't know when that point was. And I've definitely moved past it now because now I just have them in my game. And every time I look at them, I'm like, I'm never going to use these. Ever, ever, ever. Never, ever, ever. Part of me is like, what if we go Royal Core? But like, evil. But like, no, I should not. I should not. I shan't. I shan't. I shan't do that. I kind of love this. It's kind of got everything. I love the way it's like at the back. I mean, not going to lie, you would trip over that. Like, let's be honest with ourselves. No way in hell could I possibly ever walk in that. But it's still stunning. So I kind of want to go for it just to inconvenience the last. You know what I mean? I think that is a really good. Gorgeous, and I feel like that fits Royal Court pretty well. <gasps> I haven't given her a crown. Oh my god, the world's gonna end. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so sorry, my darling. I did not mean to do this to you. Okay, let's get a crown. Now, do you always wear a crown if you royal core chic? I don't know. But I'm gonna give her a crown because I have a lot of crown CC, 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 CCs, mods. I have a lot of crowns and I just never get a chance to use them. Now, I could go for something like this. <gasps> don't say her hair is not hat compatible. <gasps> I'm never gonna get past this. Oh my God, crown or hair, crown or hair. Oh my God, I don't know what to pick. <laughs> okay, if we can find a nice crown, we might have to change out the hair, which I did not want to do in any way, shape or form. Oh, that is the worst thing to ever happen to me. That's a lie, but still, it feels it. It feels it right now. <gasps> Shut up, I could have gone with a K. Does it need a K? <laughs> Let's be honest with ourselves, it does not. Maybe I'll give her two outfits. I'll be here for so long, guys. This is, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really bad. <laughs> so I have a crown like this, but like, <sighs> 
I want more like, mm, you know what I mean? Like, mm. do you know what I mean? Like, I just want more pizzazz. Do you know what I mean? Like, I need it big and bold. Now, I, for some reason, I appear to have lost all of my crown CC. I don't know where it's all disappeared to. But I just can't find it. And I'm very distraught about that fact. Unless I'm just being an idiot. You know, I think this is the one time in my life I was not actually just being an idiot. It's really not here. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Maybe we'll just go. Oh, I don't know now. I'm feeling very distraught. Honestly, the temptation. Like, it's right there. Now, is mm, mm, Should I? No. However, you can't deny, darling. You cannot deny that this is not gorgeous. Screw it. You know what? You live once. Gotta do what you gotta do. Gotta do what you gotta do. That's all I'm saying. Oh, I was just trying to readjust the boobs. I don't know what's got. I don't know what. I don't know what I look like before. I'm so sorry. This is why you don't readjust boobs in The Sims 4, apparently. Because you'll end up changing the head shape and never be able to go back. Okay. I feel like I'm going more elven. But, like, am I sad about that? Not really. You know what I mean? Like, this is giving more Lord of the Rings. More game. Game of Thrones. But they're royal, I think. You know, I've never seen Game of Thrones, so I don't know. But I'm just going to say they are royal. I could be wrong. This is bad. How do we feel about this hair? Because I use this hair like 24-7, but do I care? No, 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 no. I kind of love it. I don't know. It's kind of a sleigh. I mean, is this crown a bit over the top? Maybe I should change it. Maybe like that, you know, because it's like subtle. You know, it's got the pearls. Like it's got, it's, it's, it has it's has its own moment. Like I feel like that just works. And then let's try and find a necklace. I'm not going to lie. I don't know much stuff that's very fancy, darling very fancy so i don't know what i own oh bloody hell that is a bit fancy maybe I <laughs> maybe i do own fancy stuff is this the vibe though i don't know let's just go no it's kind of ugly well hate it hate it hate it that is adorable look at the little oh look at the little oh look at the little oh that's so cute i don't like the little green bit but like everything else about that is so cute i feel like this is a terrible outfit but like do i care absolutely not <gasps> if i'd use that other hair i could have put flowers in it i hate my life i hate everything i hate just the world i am going to quit sims 4 that's a joke or is it i don't know okay i've gone back to this crown even though i don't think it's a crown i i don't know i use it on like alien sims normally but it's so awesome that like i've gotta go for it i'm giving like pearl earrings pearl necklace and the dress obviously i'm gonna give her some fancy nails i think that from my extensive knowledge my little amount of knowledge my non-existent amount of knowledge one might say i feel like this fits pretty well as to what the hell royal court is and honestly it is stunning like it is perfection i love this aesthetic so much i love this sim now and it's something i never do and i actually love it so much so let's go ahead and move on to the next sim now okay let's go ahead and spin the second sim Ooh. these did we get the best oh my god i'm so excited okay ah! okay ah! okay sorry <laughs> Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. So if you didn't already know, which like how the hell would you not already know, you idiot? Sorry, that was rude. But like seriously, the new Barbie movie comes out. Well, for me, it comes out in a couple days, but it's already out by the time this video is going up. Oh, hopefully it's good. I'll probably have already seen it by the time this video goes out, which is so cool. I'm so excited to watch it. Everyone's like, Barbie or Oppenheimer? Barbie, bro, seriously? <laughs> Are you having me on a three hour film? Absolutely not. So yeah, I will be watching Barbie first and probably only, and I'm going to see it twice. So I'm very excited it better be good and barbie core is the complete opposite to who i am as a person and who my aesthetic is as a person like you know it's very not my aesthetic but that's what i love about it okay that's why i'm so excited to make this sim because barbie core is pink bright neons and like just perfection and first of all the flipping premiere when everyone went and they didn't even wear pink was like the most rude thing i've ever seen in my life but i'm just so excited to make this sim so let's go ahead and start at least i know a little bit more about this one so i should be able to do it a little bit more justice i'm not entirely sure if barbie has freckles but like in my head no she doesn't does she okay we shan't go for freckles once again <laughs> This is a very sad looking sim, like how all of my sims are, but I feel like for the sake of the Barbie movie and like the Barbie the sim, like I'm gonna make her look as happy as possible because like, ma'am, um, this is the Barbie movie. No need to be sad. So, I'm a Barbie girl. Whoa, it's fantastic. Life is your creation. Come on, Barbie. Let's go party. Hello. 
Okay, so I think the Barbie has blue eyes, if I am not mistaken. So let's go for some blue eyes, and we've got to go for some mad heavy makeup or like mad pink makeup. Very rare that I do this. I'm so excited. I think some huge lashes, because like if you're telling me Barbie does not wear false eyelashes, you are having me on, and you are incorrect because this is not an opinion, it is a fact of nature, okay? That doesn't make sense, but it is, okay? So I'm kind of contemplating the hearts, maybe not, but I do kind of want to go for something like this. I mean, her eye doesn't really fit in it. I might have to just adjust her eyes just very slightly. Okay, she looks slightly startled, but like we move on from that. I don't know what kind of eyebrows Barbie has, but like I kind of imagine them to be kind of like stamped on. Oh wait, they're actually really thin. Did not expect that today. Oh my gosh, she was just about to cry. I'm so sorry. I'm evil. I'm an evil Simona. Who am I kidding? Maybe something like this. And maybe I could kind of channel like Raquel or whatever. Because like I used to watch Barbie Life in a Dream House kind of a lot. Like back, but bear, bear in mind, <laughs> I was probably about 15. Like it wasn't like my childhood years. This was like kind of recently. And I'm not afraid to admit that. It's a great show, I think, from what I remember. I haven't watched it in so long, but I remember it being pretty good. So I kind of, maybe I'll revisit. I don't know. Anyways, I think like for blush, normally I go for more of a red, but I definitely think for the sake of Barbie, not me trying to do an American accent. Let's stop that right away. But I think like some very prominent pink blush is the way to go. Maybe not quite this prominent. <laughs> Ma'am. Um, not today. So I definitely think the Barbie makeup is very vibrant. Very, very glossy pink lips with maybe like a heavier eye look, but definitely still pink. But like both of these sims, we've gone kind of like pink and stuff. <gasps> I've closed off my oh no, no. Come back, come back. Oh, thank God. Oh, that was close, guys. I literally just closed it off by accident. Good Lord. Can't have that happening. I'm so not good at giving my Sims, like, bright pink that this and, like, lighter lips that this is, like, a, a, this, this this is testing me already. Maybe I could get away with something like this. Like, because it's still pink, but it's not too much because I'm not good at that. So, yeah, let's go for that. Low key, because, like, Barbie is, like, this icon who does, like, everything. I feel like at one point she was a makeup artist. I don't know if that's true, but in my head she was. So, I kind of want to go for some makeup that is, like, absolutely insanely cool like i always love these but i feel like they're maybe a little bit too much on like the alternative side there's always something like this which i do also love but i don't know if she's like that into butterflies <laughs> maybe she is i don't know see i kind of go for something like this but then i feel like the lips don't match i mean does do they have to match i don't know okay this is not ah i'm confused like is this too much <laughs> Maybe, maybe a little. Like a bit of more of a, you know, like a solar pink would kind of match a little bit more. I don't know. I'm going to go for this for now. And if I despise it as I'm making this rest of the sim, we'll come back to it. Let's see what we can do for hair. So definitely got to go for blonde just for the sake of going full Barbie mode. And we'll go for a very long straight hair. Honestly, that feels kind of Barbie. Like, kind of love that. I really like this. I am wondering if we should go for like more of the platinum blonde because I do feel like Barbie kind of has that. But I don't know. I just kind of prefer that blonde, especially on the sim. But yeah, I think that that's pretty cute. I don't know if it's like exactly Barbie, but like I feel like it could kind of fit her pretty well. I kind of would like to go for some sort of like bandana or something because I've seen a lot of like Margot Robbie's like outfits for the movie have a lot of like bandanas on them. So I feel like to kind of get that across, maybe we could try and find one. Maybe not that one. Uh, I have like this, but I feel like she's more like put together. She wouldn't have a tie. It would just be a straight up headband, like something like that. And if this is like maybe a little bit too small, but like I'll keep it for now. And then maybe it is too small. <laughs> it kind of looks ridiculous. It kind of looks a little bit ridiculous. On this hair. Not going to lie, not going to lie. Maybe we will just go for this. And let's move now on to the outfit. So, Barbie core is pretty much just, I mean, you just gotta go pink, haven't you? Like, there's, there's not much more to it. It tends to be a lot of like short skirts or just like a short dress. I think that maybe like some sunglasses as well would look really cool. So, maybe I'll add that after. But I think let's go for a short dress, I think. Honestly, even something like this right off the bat is pretty perfect. But I kind of want to find something a little bit more, something that feels more Barbie. I don't know how to describe it. Certain things just film a Barbie that other things, okay? And like, I want to find that thing. Oh my god, I did not know I own this by Scent 8, but this is like, kind of perfect. Like, I don't know why, but that just like, feels very Barbie. I could obviously also just go for straight up pink, but I don't know, I kind of like, like, the pattern and I really like that one. And it feels kind of like the 80s. You like the swimsuit that she's wearing in the movie? I think it is. I think there's a swimsuit or something. It feels kind of like that. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't really feeling that hair, so I kind of want to find something else, just because I feel like it's normally like, more updo. I mean, if we're going full Barbie, 
I feel like this is the most accurate. Like, that is pretty fitting. I feel like this feels very, like, Y2K and very, like, you know, I don't know what the girl's name is, but, like, she's the one that does, like, the chicken shop date or whatever it's called. I don't know. But she wore something like this to the premiere and I feel like it looks very much like that with the hair. So I kind of want to go for this. And let's see. This is so out of my comfort zone, by the way. Like, I'm so sorry if this is terrible outfit. I'm really bad at this kind of thing. So let's just move on. I definitely think she needs a little bag because she's Barbie. Okay, for the sake of the bag, I've had to change the hair out. Unfortunately, I can't get this in like a nice pink, which is like absolutely destroying everything. But I think that this looks pretty cute. Still the hair. I still want the bandana, but I also want the bag and I can't have both unless I change out the hair. So yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. Also, I feel like I'm low-key going for more Polly Pocket, but like I was a Polly Pocket person. I bear in mind, guys, so sorry to tell you this. I never ever in my life have played with a Barbie. Like pretty much, I don't think I've ever played with one. I was much more a Peppa Pig, a Diego person, like Dora and Diego. Like I had all those sets. I had like the Peppa Pig set, but I never had anything to do with Barbie. So I'm not very versed in this. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But now we need like some massive heels with like the chunkiest like bottom bit. Do you know what I mean? This makes her very tall. So I don't think I'll go for that. <laughs> Maybe some little shoes like this. They're kind of slightly wrong color, but you've got to move past it. And then I think we'll go with some like huge pink nails. Maybe something like that. I don't quite know what accessories Barbie has, but I would assume quite a lot. Like, I don't know. I just kind of would imagine that. So I'm going to go for like a few bracelets and stuff. I don't know if she's like a pearl kind of girly, but like, I feel like because we just did a load of pearls, I don't really want to go for it again. Oh my God, I'm going to give her a little anklet. You can't even see it, but like you guys know it's there and it's adorable. I'm not all that sure whether Barbie is like a glove girly. So I think I'll leave it, but they do look really cute. You guys probably shouted at me like, the gloves, no, the gloves. Of course she wears gloves. I don't know. I'm so sorry. I do want to go ahead and give her this little detail that I give quite a lot of my sims lately because it feels very like animated and I feel like obviously that's quite Barbie. I won't give her any tattoos just because I can't see that being a thing that Barbie has. I know that that looks kind of ridiculous on the nose, but like I kind of like that because like I say, I feel like she's more Barbie if she's got that. I don't know why. Shut up. I have a Barbie necklace. Oh my God. I did not know that. <gasps> oh my God. It's just meant to be. Honestly, did not know I had this. I must have had this for years. I don't know. I, I don't know. I've never seen it, but wow. I have a Barbie necklace. Okay, incredible. Maybe we could go for some earrings. I'm not even sure if you'll be able to see them. I think some hoops just like that you can kind of see. And I think think we are possibly done. This makes me realize how Y2K Barbie is because like this is like such a Y2K sim. Like I feel like this could be either or but I did try to go for Barbie. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm not happy with this hair to be honest but I feel like even though the others are like really cute like I really wanted to go for this but I felt like it was just gonna go more Y2K than Barbie and I feel like obviously for the sake of it we'll go for that one where it's gone now. I've lost it. It's gone. Oh there it is. Okay. Yeah <laughs> I think that this is a pretty cute and pretty Barbie outfit. At least it is in my opinion. So hopefully you like the outfit and let's go ahead and move on to the final sim who is gonna be i don't know we'll have to randomize let's see what the final one is gonna be oh which is it clown core okay okay so clown core is not really one that i know much about um at all i kind of see it like kid core in a way like they're very similar in my opinion because it's a lot of like bright colors but i also kind of want it because it's called clown core i kind of want to give the sim like a clown makeup now if you're scared of clowns i'm so sorry for this but I have a love for clowns. I love them so much. I feel like everyone hates on clowns and they're scared of clowns. But like when I was like, I don't know, like four, maybe, I don't know, a little bit older. I don't know. I had like this clown come around to my house and we took like photos and everything and he was really lovely. So I am not afraid of clowns. I think that they are very cute. And honestly, I find them very smiley and happy. I don't understand why people find them scary because they're just smiley little guys. So I am certainly one that loves clowns. So I'm very happy we got this one. So clown core, like I say, it's a lot of bright colors. I feel like it's more like shorter hair. Not necessarily, but I'm gonna go for short hair, I think, for this sim. Maybe like dyed hair or maybe like a wig, but obviously it's Sims 4, so it'll be dyed. I, honestly, if I could get like full rainbow hair, that'd be amazing, but I don't know if I'll get a chance. There's also like a lot of party hats and like berets and like just hats in general, in my opinion. And for the outfits, I would say it's a lot of either like a big baggy pants that come in at the bottom or a lot of like dresses, like shorter dresses that are kind of like polka dot or something like that. I think this is actually the sim. I'm gonna go ahead and give freckles too. Um, although, will they look weird with Okay, maybe I'll do the, the clownness first and then I'll see. I know for a fact I do have a clown makeup because I did use it once for a video a long time ago when I made some clown sims. So I definitely know I have that, which is good. My only thing is I have no idea where the clown makeup actually sits. Okay, I do have some. So this is like, okay, this kind of glitching a lot. Okay, can't use that. That is so awesome though. Oh my God, I'm so sad I can't use that. That's a shame. Okay, I also have this. Why are none of them working? Oh my God, that is awesome as well. Oh no. This even has 
that's the nose. Are you kidding me? Obviously, there's also the in-game one, but like, I don't really want to go so full like that. Okay, so I have this, which is what I was thinking of using. The question is, where's the actual makeup? Like, I don't remember, which is really bad. Oh, I do have these in the blush section, which is very Pennywise chic. I wasn't planning on really going Pennywise, but I mean, I guess I could. Aha! I found it. Okay, this is the one I wanted to use because I love all the designs and I love just everything about this. So I am going to go ahead and give her no eyebrows just to make this a little bit more realistic. Yeah, this is what I wanted to do. So I'm not sure which one to go for. I definitely think like a brighter one. Honestly, maybe something like that is kind of like very epitome of clown core in my opinion. Or even something like this. I'm not sure. I kind of like that one. That one's like sick. Okay, let's go for this. We're already starting off strong, in my opinion. I'm gonna go ahead and give her some, like, really dark brown eyes. I'm also gonna make her look quite sad, because I always find that clowns typically look kind of sad. I mean, I know that the face paint isn't, but I feel like the underneath always looks like the eyebrows are always very, like, mm, I'm sad, so I kind of want to <laughs> try and get that across. I could give her some eyebrows, because... Actually, maybe I will. <gasps> yes, like, these in, like, the red. I know they kind of clip over that, which is a bit annoying, but I do kind of like it. Maybe if we do it blue. Yeah, that kind of works oh my god this is so cool i love clowns so much if this wasn't so much high effort i would totally do this like all the time like this is insanely cool now i kind of want to go for some short hair and i think i have a party hat somewhere now i know we're kind of going all in at this point like this is not subtle in the slightest but i don't really care i definitely feel like i have a party hat because i remember downloading it and i remember being like i'm gonna use this one time and never again but like still and i did use it one time and i've never used it since but i think i still have it somewhere sat in my mods folder so let's see if i've got it anywhere aha i knew i had it so we have this little party hat. I think I like it in the red just to go all in. I love clowns with the red. Now, I could go for long hair. I did see a lot of that, but they had it like dyed. So I feel like maybe I'd go for like blue. Like that looks really cool. But I kind of want to go for short just because we've done long hair for both of the other two. We could kind of go jokery and also with this, like with it slick back, but this one actually has like some other swatches and like that blue looks really cool. Maybe we go for that. I'm also tempted to go for long hair. I don't know. I'm going to look more at the photos. I'm actually going to go for this pink just to make it a little less creepy like i don't know i i don't <laughs> i don't want to scare you guys um so i'm just gonna go for this and then i might go for more like happier brows like that just to kind of steer away from the creepy although you know to me this is scarier like this is a scarier sim but like i don't care so i think honestly i like that blue i think that looks really cute and then i want to go for some like long pink hair i'm basically just looking at a photo right now that i found that looks really cool of this person and i kind of just want to channel that to like the full blown extent is this like a lot going on right now yeah, but like, <laughs> listen, okay, I am feeling it. I kind of maybe make the makeup blue just so that there's like a bit of juxtaposition and then it matches with that a little bit more just because I think it's maybe a little bit much. I say that with... <laughs> right. Ah! <laughs> me saying it's a little bit much as the sim looks like this but you know what i don't even care this is the sickest sim i've ever made okay now let's do the outfit so i feel like because we've just done dresses like twice i think have we done dresses twice yeah i want to kind of go for more of the pants option but i want one that's like you know like parachute pants is that what they're called i don't know but like the ones that are like like they go in i don't know why i need the sound effect but <laughs> you know what i mean the ones that just kind of go out and then very much in at the bottom because it's something that i don't think i've ever even used in this game ever so will i have any of that cc probably not but we'll have to have a look we'll have to have a gander darling okay I've, i had to go into the full body because i was struggling so much with the outfit and i found this now I, is it meant to be clown core i don't think so and like is clown core a little bit brighter than this sure but it's giving pastel clown and like mm, will i turn that down no so i kind of love this i love how extra it is it all matches in together so i'm gonna go for it i think it's insanely cool and and even though it's not quite as bright as I would have liked, I don't have it in mid care I'm looking. So yeah, be honest with you guys. We could go for some like white gloves like that. And then some fingernails. We could go for like some really funky ones. Maybe like those are really cool. Actually, I'm going to swap those gloves out to these white ones instead. They're lacy because I just think that looks really cool and it goes up into there. And this like collar thing isn't part of this outfit, but I thought it was like extremely clowny. So I went for that as well. And with the final touches of some piercing, 
piercings and of the little earrings. I think that this sim is done. So this is the clown core sim. Honestly, I love, I love her. I love her so much. This is insanely cool and epic. So I feel like she's the least scariest clown ever. So let's go through what we have made today then. So we started off and we spun Royal Core and we made this sim. Honestly, they don't have names. I'll just give them names real quick. Rebecca. Rebecca Royal. That kind of fits. And she is very royal lass. Then we have the second sim, which is now called Tamika. And she is the Barbie sim. And she is also insanely cool. Honestly, the way that these two are so like minimalist, which is so funny because they're so not compared to our final sim, which is we're going to call Amy the Clown. Oh my God. Insane. I love this sim. This is going to be my favorite out of all of them. She's so cool. I just love her so much. So let me know which is your favorite in the comments down below. Is it our Royal Core Sim, our Barbie Core Fantasy Sim, or our Clown Sim? I gotta, they gotta take the cake. They gotta take the cake. I'm sorry. So let me know what you think of this video in the comments down below. Let me know if you want me to do a part two of this or any other video suggestions like this one, or just any really. And of course, make sure you go download Brick City using the description link down below. And thank you so much again for sponsoring today's video. And remember to like and subscribe if you want. And I'll see you guys in the video. I love you guys. Good.